Okay, so we are going to be comparing um, these three webinar systems. Um, the GoToWebinar, Webinar Jam, and Instant Teleseminar. These are the only three that I have that I would recommend. These are the three that I have used over a period of time. I have tried quite a number of webinar systems, and there's so many out there. Um, I've I, and I've usually been very disappointed. Um, for one reason or another um, and these three are the three that I have tried that have worked for me over a period of time and if anyone came up to me and they asked for a recommendation I would usually recommend they don't go outside of these three so I felt I'll just compare all three and I'll, I'll let you know which one is my final pick and why I picked that one so first of all we'll talk about reliability reliability is very crucial when you are hosting webinars um, you want to be certain that this webinar system that you're using would not mess up. This is the biggest challenge I've had with a lot of webinar systems. With some of them, as soon as you try to um, share your screen, they freeze. With some of them, um, the audio is very bad. The connection's very bad. It, it just, it just becomes, it, it just doesn't work. And I've had webinars where, some, you know, I've had over a hundred people on a webinar, and and then the system just, just messes up and. And it's not a good place to be. It really, really isn't. And that's why reliability is really crucial. Now, I will say that the most reliable of these three systems is Instant Teleseminar. Um, for a number of reasons, Instant Teleseminar actually, it uses a telephony system. So you can either dial in or you can access on your web browser. Um, and, that, and, and, that, and that is for the attendees. And so people don't need to download anything. And that makes it quite reliable. I must say that, I mean, having used Instant Teleseminar, which I've used for the longest of the three, um, it has, I can't recall a time where it's let me down, where people have dialed in, not been able to hear, and that sort of problem. We don't usually have that with Instant Teleseminar. Um, and then, GoToWebinar is quite reliable. It actually is very reliable. However, um, sometimes because people need to download Citrix and, and use it, you actually need to download something to your computer. There could be a situation where sometimes the computer's um, not connecting, and, and it can cause problems in that arena. Um, it also it does have um, an app that people could download to their their tablets, um, which could enable people to access it on their tablets. However, that means there's an additional app people need to download. Um, also, people can dial in via their phones as well, and that's also quite reliable. So, go to webinar is almost as reliable as Instant Teleseminar. Webinar Jam um, actually is, is, is built around the um, Google Hangouts on Air platform. It is very reliable. It is very reliable. Yes, um, it's probably the least reliable of the three. I must say it's the least reliable of the three. That it, However, it is hugely reliable that, that it's not really an issue, but when it comes to reliability, without a shadow of a doubt, it would be instant teleseminar first, um, go to webinar second, and webinar jam third. Now, the second factor that I'd like to compare these around is list building, and list building basically is building your community um, or subscribers. And obviously, um, those of you who know my four-part system. Um, know that building a community is a crucial part where people are giving you their names and email addresses. Now, every time you host a webinar, should be an opportunity for you to add new people to your community, for you to add new people to your list. And um, Webinar Jam is the best of these three. Webinar Jam has really amazing um, registration pages that are linked to your email marketing system. So whether you use Aweber, you use um, MailChimp, you use um, Get Response or whatever you use in Fusionsoft, um, it links. It, it, they have they create these really lovely pages that actually. So you have a page like this. So people put in their details, they register, and straight away they're added to your email list. And these are the two now. Go to webinar has a registration situation where people can register. Okay, people actually register for your webinars. However, the way GoToWebinar is built is it doesn't sync. It doesn't sync those registrations with your email marketing system. So, in essence, people register for the webinar, but you can't automatically add them to your email marketing system. So, it doesn't really build your list. Now, there are a few tools out there that you can use and you can buy them that would enable you to 
connect um, your go to webinar web I mean your go to webinar with your email marketing system but that's just an, an, an external thing that you would need to use beyond that instant tele seminar on the other hand actually doesn't even give you any opportunity to register at all it just creates the webinar or uh, tele seminar webinar pages and so therefore if you want to use this and, and I have and this is what I used to do when I used to use it a great deal um, is is I would create a registration page myself because I knew how to do that back in the day I mean a lot there's a lot of systems you can use to do that now so you create a registration page by yourself and uh, which would be separate from the instant tele seminar system and then you create the follow-up emails with the links to the webinar page so that is a system that is available there okay so so now um Sorry, where was I? So that's list building. So I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, number one for list building is Webinar Jam. Number two is Go to Webinar, and number three is Instant Tele Seminar. Number three is Email Follow Up. Now, with Email Follow Up, um, that basically is a situation where when people register for your your for your event, they get sent follow up emails and emails saying, "Hey, thank you for registering." Um, and we will be in touch with you or, or this is your link to the webinar etc also with webinar registrations you would have a few other things um, like follow-up emails which, which so that would send them an email at a particular time close to the time of the webinar reminding them of the webinar so and, and also uh, post webinar emails that would go out um, if there's any offers that were made during the webinar where you can send out these offers um, or if there's a, a link to the replay, you can send out this, these links to the replay as well. Um, now, Instant Tele Seminar doesn't have this at all. If you're going to use Instant Tele Seminar, you would actually need to write these emails and set them up in your email marketing system and time them. So um, that's what you'll need to do there with Instant Tele Seminar. Webinar, I mean, GoToWebinar does have a follow-up system so there's automated reminders and follow-up emails but there's only it's just a certain number it doesn't give you that um, you, you can't it, it's quite limited it, it does have it and it's quite good but it's limited webinar jam stands out um, webinar jam um, you can create as many um, follow-up emails as you want within the system um, but not only that um, it's quite smart so you can send follow-up emails to people who um, who attended the event you can send follow-up emails to people who, who 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 did not attend the event you can also have separate follow-up emails to people who've watched the replay follow-up emails to people who've not watched so it's very powerful so you can send one email to some people saying hey you attended the event um, but you can watch the, um, and but if you missed out on the offer go ahead and grab it here and send another email a separate email automated email to the people who didn't attend saying hey you missed out on the webinar but the replays available go ahead and watch it here so it's it's pretty smart that way so when it comes to the email follow-up system um, again webinar jam is number one go to webinar would be number two and instant tele seminar would be number three here okay and then in-room engagement and by in-room engagement um, which is which is and this is the whole thing which is during the webinar connecting with and engaging with the people who are there in the room with you um, so c conversations happen and all those things that happen to make it as close to a live event as possible now um, I'll just talk through each of them and I'll tell you which one is my preference T instant tele seminar you can because people dial in as well as access it through the internet so for the people who dial in you do have control where you can unmute certain people and 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 sometimes it, it actually shows you their name so you can unmute certain people certain attendees in your audience and get them to come in and speak during the webinar which is really cool so um, I could have for I'm hosting a webinar here in London and I have Anthony who's in New York and I can unmute Anthony in New York and say in, in New York because he would have pressed a button to say he's raising his hand and I would say so Anthony what's it you want to say you're unmuted now you can contribute and Anthony can come ahead can go ahead and contribute during the webinar which is really kind of cool um, uh, to have that now go to webinar has something similar um, where you can unmute people and bring them into the conversation as well um, webinar jam doesn't because it's built around um, it's built around the whole Google Hangouts on air thing 
the one thing you can do is people can chat and have a conversation there which the which which um in all fairness um go to webinar has a chat situation instant tele seminar doesn't okay instant tele seminar doesn't have the chat situation but webinar jam does um also um sorry um go to webinar does but in addition to that go to webinar gives you the opportunity to unmute attendees so they can actually speak during the webinar um what you can do is you can bring attendees in to be co-presenters with you on go on webinar jam so basically if they have a webcam then their webcam would show as well you can have as many as 10 people as co-presenters during your live webinar with webinar jam um, other things when we look at in-room engagement is um, go to webinar and webinar jam give you the opportunity to share um, to share surveys so you can actually sh um, create share surveys within the room and get the attendees to complete those surveys okay um, an additional yeah so now I would say my number one here for engagement would be go to webinar um, because go to webinar does stuff that webinar jam do does which is you can you can create surveys um, but also they they enable chats which webinar jam does but instant tele seminar doesn't do but also people I mean attendees can also come in and speak which webinar jam does instant tele seminar doesn't do um, and um, and and so I would say for me go to webinars number one Instant Tele Seminar and Webinar Jam would be a joint second. So Instant Tele Seminar and Webinar Jam for me here would be a joint second. Then offers. At the end, you know, you're you're in business, you're gonna be making offers. You want you want to make offers to your attendees. So whether it's a program you want them to enroll for, you want them to enroll buy a product or something. Um Instant Tele Seminar gives you an opportunity to create offer buttons. However, the offer buttons, are, they, you, they're usually available from the very get-go. So as soon as the webinar la launches, attendees can see those offer buttons, click them, and see the offers before you get to them. Now, anyone who understands marketing and the psychology of buying and selling would know that that's not a good idea. You don't want people to go ahead, see whatever you're offering, see the price, and then just shut down because as far as they've concerned they've seen anything you want them to engage and to get value build you want to build up the value before you present the offer um go to webinar doesn't even doesn't have this at all it doesn't have this at all and this is where again where webinar jam stands out because webinar jam ha enables you to create offers from the very beginning and only make them available at the time you want your attendees to access them it actually is very brilliant this is for me, one of the biggest, most important features of Webinar Jam. Um, so here, my ratings would be Webinar Jam's number one, um, and number two would be Instant Tele Seminar, and number three would be Go To Webinar um, when it comes to making offers. And finally, pricing. Um, pricing's kind of interesting, and and I'm going to stick to well. Let's look at a thousand attendees. Okay. Now, for a thousand attendees with instant tele seminar, um, there's a thousand web attendees and 250 phone par participants. You will be looking at ninety-seven dollars a month. Okay, so you have a, th a thousand people who attend your webinars. It would be um, ninety-seven dollars a month, and it's unlimited webinars. You can host as many webinars as you want to host. Okay, now with go to webinar. Um, I believe a thousand attendees would be let me have a quick look so I don't overprice it the last I knew it was about four hundred dollars okay so um, all right here we go um, yes there we go so a thousand attendees is four hundred dollars with go to webinar okay so a thousand attendees four hundred dollars with go to webinar seventy nine dollars with instant tele seminar and with webinar jam um, you will be looking at I believe it's that they, they have this special offer but between you and I there's always a special offer it seems to be there forever so don't be drawn in but don't don't get don't panic because they've got this special offer I think it's it's a per perpetual special offer at three hundred dollars a year again all three of them are for unlimited webinars now which would I recommend of the three um, I would recommend webinar jam 
I'd recommend Webinar Jam because it offers the best value for money. And if you're looking to build a business as a coach, speaker, or trainer, um, if you're going to go with one for, if you're going to go with only one, I would say go with Webinar Jam. Okay. If you are, if you can afford to go for two, um, because you want to use them for different things, um, then I would recommend Instant Tele Seminar for trainings and webinar I mean for specific paid training so trainings people have paid for then maybe maybe instant tele seminar but for everything else but if you're gonna go with just one if you're gonna go with just one without a shadow of a doubt where you'll be using it to for promotion for adding value and for everything else that you do and and and, and you'll get a lot of information about what you can use webinars for from the training we're doing in the group then it would be webinar jam that's what I would recommend without a shadow of a doubt it just it just offers you everything it really does it, it, it's the most complete of all three of them it's definitely the most complete of all three of them for helping you build a business so I hope this is useful um, wow this is a, a it's been a long video but but I hope it's useful and it will help you in making your decision um, I believe I don't know how it works, but let me see. I think maybe it's when you try to close Webinar Jam. It, it creates, there we go. You click to close it, and then it, it gives you this special offer. Hold on, stay on this page. There it is. Get started today for only $99. That, that's, so you just click like you're going away, and then it would create this offer. Click stay on this page, and enter your email, and instantly get this special offer. I've never used that before. I didn't use that. I went for the whole package, but I came across this later on. You might want to explore using this because this would probably, you know, help you get a great deal. So, hope this was useful. Go ahead and leave your comments and don't forget to attend tonight's training, guys. It's going to be really, really crucial. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be sharing some very useful stuff. I don't want to hype it up, but it's going to be very useful and I'll encourage you to do whatever you can do to be there.